there are times in any relationship, especially a long-term relationship, when we're feeling disconnected from our partner and we're wanting something from our partner um, and they're wanting something from us and there just seems to be a big gap. So how do we make that connection when we're feeling so disconnected? I think this is the struggle that we all have when we're in long-term relationships or when we're trying to initiate a relationship mm-hmm. on a sexual level. Um, and it, it's taking pleasure out of the dominance, right? Cause that's mm-hmm. the dominant there's giving and there's taking and someone is the aggressor, usually the man, if we're talking about a heterosexual relationship and someone is receiving and they have to be in control and one person gets to make all the decisions. And then that's really, mm, it breeds a lot of resentment. Mm-hmm. Because there are so many different, you know, hurdles in our lives. So if we can shift to sharing sex energy, yes, it's yeah. such a low bar and mm. there's no failure. And it's like, how do I do it? And there's so many different ways mm-hmm. to share. And what is that? We experience that in the workshops. I know you've yeah. experienced that, Laura, where mm-hmm. we're all stimulating our own bodies, but we're in the circle and we're sharing our sex energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then there's a a play, a back and forth play. Uh, We're all responsible for our own orgasm and our own pleasure. So we're not looking to to get pleasure or take pleasure from somewhere else. We're, We're cycling it within our own body, but then we're doing it side by side. There's something about sharing sex energy with another person or multiple people that just, it just kind of bounces around the room and it reflects back to you. Um, it's, it's really very amazing how that works. So what would you recommend for a couple? Like, like how do you start cycling this energy and kind of maybe break old patterns? You share masturbation. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give you an example. There was a a young woman who was having a hard time with penetration. Um, She was in a group and she was young, had several children. She was in a marriage and she said, you know, it's just hard. And it's because of past trauma. She couldn't do vulva massage. It was Mm -hmm. too much because there was resistance. So I put together the body meditation So she laid down, she did the body meditation where she touched different parts of her body. Do I like the back of my nails, the pads of my fingers? And then vulva massage came on after. And she started vulva massage because she wanted to, right? She had warmed up. Her husband knocks on the door and he says, can I do it too? And he laid down next to her and he got some oil. And you can kind of do the vulva massage, you know, the, the clitoris is like the, sh- the tip mm-hmm. of the penis and the shaft of the clitoris is like the shaft of the penis. And it's pretty much almost one for one. And they touched and they each had an orgasm. Mm-hmm. And her husband looked at her and said, that was the hottest sex we've mm-hmm. ever had. And, you know, he's right. We define sex as penetration, but being together because the energy will flow from each body. Orgasm is a wave. It's like a sound wave. Mm -hmm. When you're in a room with someone and we're listening to music, that's why concerts are so amazing because the waves are passing through our bodies. So Mm -hmm. if we can let go of the idea, the romantic myth of heteronormative (laughs) vaginal penetrative sex Mm -hmm. and simply share orgasms together, Mm -hmm. yes, and it takes the pressure off, right? Then it's fun. Mm -hmm. Then it's playful and it's sex positive. Exactly. And then once you have that positive experience alone, but together, which is how we do it in the body sex circles, um, then you can build on that. Um, I think shared masturbation in that way, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, I, I've done it with partners. I will do it in the future with any new partner, the very first sexual activity that we do. Uh, Just because it is, it's a positive way. You're cycling all of those positive hormones, all of that positive energy. It reflects back and forth. And then it's like, whew, that was a good time. And there's no failure. 
Mm-hmm. There is no resentment. And then it will naturally start, hands will start moving. And then maybe you assist your partner while they're masturbating. Maybe it goes to hand jobs. Maybe there's a little oral sex. And then it will naturally progress. And that way, like you said, we're each responsible for our own orgasm. 